Previously on Alan Wake, under the influence of the Dark Presence, I wrote a horror story that is coming true. Jagger had been my editor, making sure that the unfolding story would make her more and more powerful. Some part of me had been aware enough to write my escape into the story. Together, we can create something absolutely wonderful. The lake, it, it does something to the works of art created here. It makes them come true. My mom gave me this old light switch. The clicker. Alice is being kept in a dark prison. I need to find Cynthia Weaver to fix this. It's your fault, and you're gonna pay for it. Well, we're expecting a record crowd from the neighboring counties. Naturally, we hope to break the record set by last year's Moose Fest in our neighboring town, Wagery. Ladies and gentlemen, Great. some people have asked me, what's the big deal about Deer Fest? And I think that this sums it up. It's about friendship and community. We've got a great party coming up, but uh, let's try to uh, hold it in until tomorrow and get through the night in one piece, all right? I have it. Someone will come for it when the time is right. Thomas said so. He wrote it. The key is insurance. It's my job to keep it safe. Safe in the light. Mm. Always in the light. Hello. Hello. All the manuscript pages were gone. The FBI agent had taken them. I think... I think my tongue just took a crap in my mouth. Ugh. Oh, wait, we're in jail now? Oh. Hell, this is not good. That about sums it up. Welcome. Ooh. Oh, right. Of course, we don't have any pages here. I was like, oh no, it's true. I just wanted to check this. And I wanted to say this. Welcome back to Let's Play Alan Wake. Again. I'm Burning Dog Face. And yeah, that about sums it up. This isn't a great situation to be in. We're on a hangover from magical moonshine that expanded our minds and showed us prophecy. And, uh... <laughs> and we're in jail because Agent Nightingale found us, somehow. Oh, oh I am never drinking again. Uh. I need to talk to Weaver. She's the one in the song. The Lady of the Light. What, the crazy lady? Ugh, whatever you say, what Al, but we're stuck here. Nightingale? They're not yeah, gonna... Even interviewed Wake. I had some reading to do first, Sheriff. And let me tell you, it was an interesting read. Well, I've got you now, Raymond Chandler. It's all here. All the evidence, including conspiracy to murder a federal agent. There's no way you're walking out of here. You hear me in there, Brett Easton Ellis? Huh? Agent Nightingale, I want to talk to your superior. Well, we all want things, Sheriff. I wanted my... <sighs> Look, that's not possible right now. Agent Nightingale, I insist. <sighs> Wake, what's wrong? Lady, are you stupid? It's a trick. It's an obvious trick. Okay, I've had enough of this crap. Wake, I'm gonna trust you with this. You're joking. Agent Nightingale, your opinion would matter more if you were sober and if I actually believed you were here on official business. Whoa! Get... Get back in the cell, Stephen King. The only way you're leaving this place is over my dead... Wait a minute. I know this... Oh, my God! Light. We need light. It's the only way to fight this thing. In my office. I've got your things there. Follow me. Good riddance to bad oh, rubbish. Oh, man! We're sitting ducks with the lights out. Stay cool. I can get the emergency power on. Let me guess. This page describes what just happened, and he realized that at the last moment. Nightingale reads the manuscript. Nightingale tried to make sense of the manuscript. It was disjointed and strange. He didn't understand half of it. But it all rang true. Impossibly true. He took out his hip flask when he reached the page that described how he reached the page that made him take out his hip flask. It wasn't the booze that made his mind real. Oh, God. I'm gonna take advantage of this jump cut to insert a shout-out to rnick93, who deliberately let the playlist build up a bit before diving in for binging.
<laughs> I appreciate the dedication. You know, hi, when you catch up. <laughs> Sorry about that. This one, maybe? Ah, a Nightingale attacked by the Dark Presence. Oh, I can hardly wait. Nightingale felt the situation veering out of his control, but the gun at least felt steady in his hands. He was ready to fire, resolved that he would let this happen over his dead body. And yet he hesitated. He had seen this moment before, read it in the page. He was transfixed by the deja vu and the horror that he was a character in a story someone had written. Then the monstrous presence burst in behind him and dragged him into the night. I would have written and dragged him screaming into the night, but that's just because I don't like the guy. As I said, good riddance, you did not deserve a first name. Oh fuck, it's a power outage. We are so hosed. That's a start. There's another one. Oh, no, this one's a hot dog. I'll take it anyway. Oh, and over here there's an EpiPen. Uh, what else is tubular? Box of orange tampons, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> Yoink! I'm just taking stuff. Oh, bad choice of words. Holy shit! I thought it was... It is not the middle of the day. Wait, are you telling me we were sleeping it off literally all fucking day? That stuff really is potent, god damn. Hey, I've got supernatural magic or something. Maybe you should give me the flashlight. I mean, it was just a thought. Where's the hell's berry? I guess it's probably safe in there right now. Right. Here are your now. things. Wake, what do I need to know? What do you need from me? They can be hurt in the light, only in the light. That's not and mine. I need to find Cynthia Weaver. She can help me stop this. Light. Check. Cynthia. She lives in the old decommissioned power plant. I can get you there pretty quickly in the rescue chopper. Bright Falls, Light and Power. Of course. Yoink! Oh, thank God for that. Come on, let's get back to your friend. You know, it just occurred to me today, for the first time we ever. Are. I need you to stay here. What? No. We're going to fetch our ride, but I have friends who need to be warned about this, and I can't be in two places at once. I need your help. Well, okay. Here's a list of people and phone numbers. I need you to call them and tell them you have a message from me. Night Springs, okay? They'll know what to do. Night Springs? Like the TV show? Gotcha. Oh, hey, that radio guy is on the list, Maine. Who's Frank Breaker? He related to you? My dad. Hey, is this like a secret society? Can you do this? You'll be safe here. The backup power's on. These guys need to be alerted, just in case we don't come back. Uh, you'll come back for me, though, right? As soon as we get the chopper ready. Thanks, Wheeler. I owe you one. Okay, let's go, Wake. Through the back. Right-o. Hangover wants a pizza. You think there's any way I could order one, Al? My hangover wants you to shut up and get to work. Rude. Uh, hello, Mr. Breaker, this is Barry Wheeler. Oh. Yeah, I know it's late, but listen. The sheriff, Sarah, asked me to tell you something. She says Night Springs, okay? So I guess she... Yes, sir. Okay, I... No, uh, she's okay. She's just busy, so she asked me to... Do they know about this? Is that what Night Springs oh, mean? No. The dark is getting stronger? Actually, I'm a literary agent, sir. I'm just helping her out because she's busy right now. Well, the one you'd most likely be familiar with is Alan Wake. <laughs> You're kidding. 
Well, I'm glad to hear that, sir. I'll tell Al you said that. That's really nice. But listen, I really need to make some more calls here. Uh, you got the message, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, thanks, sir. Bye now. Hey, the sheriff's dad is a big fan, Al. Said you're the best thing to happen to crime fiction since James Elroy. I think he was a little drunk, though. I was just starting to say, uh... It occurred to me today to wonder whether or not the names of Mr. Wake and Mr. Wheeler are a reference to the comic book character of Barry Allen, a.k.a. The Flash. Hello? Uh, this is Barry Wheeler. I'm calling okay, on it's just of generic sheriff. ones now. Sarah says Night Springs. Okay? Okay, bye. Wait, what am I doing? Whatever took Nightingale must have broken the gate oh. controls. Oh, well, that's fine. We can't reach the gate's control box from here. We need to get to the other side over the rooftop. So I don't need to look I'll for go. magical pages I'll open anyway. I'll the gate for you once I'm across. You stay here in the light and cover me, Sheriff, okay? Huh, they didn't do a thing about me getting the pages back. I guess I can still access them, so I suppose it doesn't really matter. Uh... Yeah, I think this is going to take a while, Al. You better get going. That's probably in case I'm hanging out in the front hall. Realistically, I don't even think he knew I was... Oh, duh. I needed to reach the rooftop to get to the other side of the broken gate. Actually, while I'm here... Oh, for fuck's sake. Hmm. Oh! Oh, it's just... Okay, Jesus Christ. It's like... What? What? There's a bad guy here! Yeah, this thing is through... We came through this way, I think. Just the sizzling noise. Oh, dear fast flow. Nice. Oh, I'll be damned. There actually was a reason to come out here. Uh... How was I meant to do this? Just sort of cheating it across the model, sure. How come it doesn't say police backwards on the front if it says ambulance backwards on the front? You lied to me! Okay... Maybe it was in that lot, then. Oh, fuck me! There's a ladder right there! Oh, no, 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 that's, uh, not all the way down. I mean... Okay, okay, just checking. Oh! God damn it, now I see. I actually saw this last time, but I couldn't interact with it. I feel like if this hadn't been a video game, I would have just given myself a concussion, but, uh... Let's not think about that. Something I saw on the Alan Wake wiki that was news to me a while back. But I'm not sure if that's because it's, like, some guy's original research and it's, you know, questionable. Or if it's because I just don't remember the part of the game where they discuss that. So I don't know if I should mention it yet or not. about our old friend Thomas Zane. Oh, and I'll mention, uh, one thing I will mention that I thought was interesting. In Alan Wake, no one has ever heard of Thomas Zane. 
it's like the guy vanished off the face of the earth. Some people vaguely remember that he was a poet, but no one can find any of his work. Uh, on the other hand, in Control, we learn a couple of things. Namely, one, protagonist Jesse Faden actually does remember uh, Thomas Zane, the poet. There's a, a, a fucking recording of one of her therapy sessions because the... Uh, oh, In light, you can hurt them. Because the Bureau listens into everything. And there's a bit where she quotes a poem from Thomas Zane. And then her therapist is curious because she knows Thomas Zane, but the Thomas Zane she knows is a director. And that keeps coming up over and over again. That Thomas Zane is a director. And I'm wondering what the fuck that's going to have to do with Alan Wake 2. Because if people are remembering Thomas Zane, but not in the same way, that's different from what we've seen before. You be dead. Actually, I'm not sure it was alive in the first place. It's angry slime, that's what it is. skin. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, those guys just clipped through the roof. That was not cool. Does anyone else find it really unsettling the way they don't disintegrate? They just fly off and disperse? I wonder if that means I'm freeing the ravens, like they're not all the way taken. Like they just suddenly remembered that they're birds and not murderers, and uh... Let's just jump. Now this should work. I'm pretty sure you need a key to start these things from the ground level. But they have emergency switches so that if you get stuck up here, you can just turn it on with a button. Hey, Sheriff! Your password! Night Springs? What's that all about? It's a stupid joke we have! That Bright Falls is the original inspiration for the TV show! This town can get weird at times! Never this weird, though! You need to bypass the damaged control box. What am I, an electrician? Hold on! I should have waited to do that so that she could see it happen, but whatever. She clearly believes. Oh, ow, damn. That actually Smarts. That actually caused damage. Okay, stick close. Our first stop is the town hall. The keys to the chopper are there. What if I go in exactly the opposite direction? This is a much wider open map than I'm used to in this game. I can't go there. I hate this. Not the alley, I just mean this. Ain't not surprised when I turned around just there and there wasn't a bunch of Taken behind me. Okay, just checking. I'm assuming this doesn't open. No, it doesn't even make the noise, sure. Kill 
Pull that thing! Yep, they can definitely be affected by force. Ow! Kill him! I guess she was reloading too. Well, this isn't terrifying at all. Look out! Oh no! No! Oh, right, it's gonna come back, isn't it? Yup! Oh my god. Alright, you fucker. Oh. It's not Over here, Wake! The chopper's in the other direction. Why isn't it possessed anymore? Is there an achievement for killing it before it stops being possessed? Oh fuck! Hell yeah, flare gun! Was there paint over here? I don't even know. Oh boy. Ah. Oh. I think if it's still going, it would be up to the 70... 70th annual, uh, not 70th, 80th rather, annual Deer Fest, if it was uh, still going in 2022. Although, let's be fair, they probably didn't do it in 2020, maybe not in 2021 either, with the pandemic and all that. I think they mean that one over there. It's on the other one! I can't see. Sir, what just happened? It was not actually on the bench! It just looked like that in my brain. Okay. Okay. Uh, the timer has gone. I think. So, uh... I'm going to call it here. I'm Burning Dog Face, and I'll see you next time on Let's Play Alan Wake again, when we make our way through a town now completely under siege from the Dark Presence. Oh, boy. Wish us luck. Wish all of us luck. And stay in the light.